everyone, it's Andre Styles from Mix 1079, and uh, if you missed out on our exclusive VIP performance for Mix listeners only with the American Authors, don't worry, I had a chance to sit down with him, chat with him for a little bit, ask him a couple questions, check it out right now. So how's the tour been so far with uh, Out on the Tour of the Road? Okay. Guys. Man, it's been amazing. Oh, we're doing an interview right now? We're just... Oh, we're, we're, we're so informal. Just, yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've been out with like I think about a month and a half. We were out for an entire month and then um, we kind of had like a little break. Now we're on the second leg. Sure. It's been amazing. So has, has Ryan come up to you guys and said, I've written this song for you guys. I wrote it just for you guys. Has he done that? In our dreams. Have you gone to him and say, we got this perfect song for you guys? Like three or four times. Yeah. 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 He hasn't, he hasn't been on it yet? No, we would like to collaborate. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. I don't think we could ever accept this song from somebody else. But we would like to jam. Have a gym jam session. Yeah. Well, has it been like that? Like, once you guys get off stage, you know, and you're done with the whole city, do you guys ever jump on the bus to play the next stop and just jam? We did it last night. Yeah. Really? We Thanks. jam. Um, everyone's kind of working on their own stuff, you know. Do you guys want, to, uh, want us to get our apps out before you guys go out? Or? No, 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 everything, 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 everything after. after. Okay, yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. But, um... It's cool because, you know, Ryan and One Republic, they're all kind of working on new material and different songs. Obviously, Tatter's always writing for a million different people. The scripts, finishing up their new album on their yeah. book. So they have this really cool studio set up in the back. So they're, like, mixing and just really doing, cool. like, some final vocal edits and whatnot. And then for us, we're just writing. And just, um, we've been spending a lot of time working on our new set because uh, we're going to be headlining the Honda Civic Tour this right. fall, so we're yeah, kind of yeah. adding in some new songs, some new songs that we've been working on, some new cover songs, and just... Um, some surprises. Yeah, changing it up so it's not the same old yeah, set that people have been seeing all summer, but then also just writing a lot, yeah. writing for ourselves. Keeping, and keeping those wheels greased, you know? That's, that's it, good. man. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you guys have so many people on the tour right now, and so many great creative minds that this is sort of a, you know, like you said, Keeping the, the wheels grease, this is a great way to do it. Man, Ryan, so everybody inspiring. else, see, you know, see how they do things, you know, behind the scenes or anything else, you know, for a lot of upcoming bands. This is, this yeah. is great knowledge to take in. To watch an artist like that prolific every night, it's just the catalog just goes on for forever. It's just like, you know, you always dream about that when you're, when you're growing up and making music. So. When you guys get done with your set, yeah. do, you, uh, do you just sort of blend into the crowd and watch the other bands do their set or do you we have a few times it's hard it's hard to like with the script like we always have to wait till it's dark sure you know what i mean and that's usually when we're yeah. public's on so we'll go out there and we'll watch we'll watch their set from the front of yeah the i watched it last night it was cool it was the one republic it was really good. how good. often does your answer change when someone asks you what the best day of your life has been well, not that much <laughs> yeah we usually say the same same we always things. say right now. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, well, no, that'd be a good answer, though. No, that'd be a good answer because every day changes, right? You know, every the, day does change. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a new start. When you yeah. Wake up in the morning. So. You I, know. I think though that we, you know, there's there's goals that we've always set when, you know, even when we're just like a baby band, which we, in my opinion, still are. But like, um, I don't know, uh, signing day, you know, like to our label, that was a really, really, really big day for us. Do you think do you think signing day then has been the the sort of the, the pivotal day where you guys knew okay we're not going to be sharing a, an apartment with all four of us you know, in Brooklyn anymore right now you know as, when you sign did you see things changing at that moment yeah because now we're sitting in a bus together yeah. <laughs> two feet away from each other it was definitely a good start like it was a really cool moment something that you dream of your entire life so then when you finally hit that you know uh, it's it's interesting because. You know, you kind of get rid of a whole bunch of issues and problems that you may have when you're an unsigned band working to get to to get to a certain point in your career. But then once you do sign, it just opens up a whole new door full of new problems and new situations and, and new obstacles to conquer. So, so that was a big thing that we learned. And um, but I think they're better problems. They're they're good things to have in. And I think we kind of have a better head on our shoulder and a great team that we're working with now, which is very cool and different different from everything else that we've done. Because we never had a team, you know, it was just yeah. the four of us kind of putting everything together ourselves. Well, you talk about problems or, or new problems, but when you listen to Oh, What a Life, it's 
pretty much almost every song on there, or just the album itself, such positivity coming from that album. Um, did you guys have that in mind when you're writing and creating? Like, you know, this is something when our, you know, our fans, our listeners are going through a hard time or looking for inspiration and something they can just throw on and listen to and get inspired by. No, we didn't really think of it um, like that in a sense where we didn't really we didn't want to write something with that with that motive in mind. It was more so for us and the problems that we were dealing with and the situations that we were struggling with at the time. It was kind of our outlet to be, you know, for I guess not necessarily for us to listen back to and get through these times, but that was how we were expressing ourselves at the moment when we were down and we had no money and we had nothing. And you know, because Believer and Best Day of My Life were written, those were like the first two songs that American authors really wrote together and you know, we really had nothing, no money. We were sharing an apartment and it was pretty bad and very low point. Yeah, it was a super <laughs> low point and for us, you know, we expressed through our creativity and through our songwriting and that's what we were talking about, how it's like, you know, rather than giving up and just being like, This sucks, we're at such a low point, let's just stop. It was like, let's see that light at the end of the tunnel. Let's keep pushing each other, inspiring one another to push through these hard times to get to the next, you know, pivotal moment in your career. Yeah. Well, and you guys, so, like you talked about Honda Civic Tour, you guys are going to be going out and headlining that with Mobley's and the whole honey. Um, and Echo Smith. And Echo Smith. Uh, Echo Smith. Cool. I didn't hmm? see that on the lineup. There you go. Yeah, it should be cool. Echo Smith does West Coast dates, okay. and then Ohani will do East Coast dates with us. Yeah, cool. Awesome. So it should be fun. What's the most exciting thing about headlining this tour? I mean, the Honda Civic Tour, the name has been around for years, and you've had a lot yeah. of you know, yeah. bands roll through headlining that. What do you think the most exciting thing about doing it's going to be? We got to design our own car. Did you? We did. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's pretty badass, did you get to actually. Keep it? No, no, it's up, for, uh, it's up for fans to okay. win and whatnot. Okay. But um, no, headlining is going to be so much fun. I think this tour, we were talking about it last night a little bit, and and this tour all summer has been great. It's really amazing that we're playing for so many people, the biggest crowds we've ever played for. Um, but we're still we're still opening the show, you know, and, yeah. and obviously we're not the main attraction of the night, which is okay. But headlining is just so cool because you feel that energy because people are there specifically for you, you know, and there's just that raw energy that you can really feed off of as a performer. So I'm really excited to get back you know, into those, back into those clubs in the middle of the city and just feed off the vibe of the, of the fans and the audience. <clears throat> cool. Well, before we finish up here, we're just going to do some rapid-fire questions with you guys. So, cool. The first things that come to mind. Uh, do you like wings? Yes. Yes, yes we love them. Bubble gum or breath mint? Uh, breath bubble gum. mint. Okay. Uh, rather eat meatloaf or listen to meatloaf? Both. Eat meatloaf. Both. At the same time. At the same time. time. <laughs> Just eat. No listening. Peanut to plain M&M's. Huh? Peanut. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. Peanut butter. Mm, that's peanut good. butter? Whoa. Those are good. Oh, wow. Chocolate no, 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 peanut butter. butter. I feel like peanut. Purple. Deep dish or New York style pizza? Deep dish. Deep dish. Pizza. Uh, it depends. Deep All dish. of it. Oh. Every dish. style. Really? Yeah, man. When we go to Chicago, we go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I love the thin slice with the thick I think it's been had so much. You fold it up. We've had so dripping. much of that. That deep dish is more of a... It's a real treat. It's a real treat. What's pizza, your, in general. What's your guilty pleasure song? Pizza. Oh. Uh, guilty pleasure song? Yeah. Or song Jordan that Lyle. you don't want anyone to know that you listen pleasure. That's just to, a pleasure. but you'll sing to it. Telephone Line by ELO. Woo! I'm not going to lie, I'm That's really in five seconds song. of summer. That's, there you go. That's a guilty pleasure for me. Uh, big Year Tupac. Huh? Tupac. 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 Okay. Yeah. Sean Puffy Combs? <coughs> <laughs> Diddy. Kanye. Whatever name he's going by nowadays. Whatever. Puffy. Puffy? No, I like Jay-Z. I think he's one of my faves. <laughs> when you uh, <laughs> give something to a significant other, would you rather get chocolate or flowers? Flowers. Is nothing an option? <laughs> <laughs> if you're breaking up with them, that's always an option there. Uh, who's got the better tongue, Miley Cyrus or Gene Simmons? Well, oh, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. So Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Well, I would I know if you about experience. experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. American authors uh, on tour right now, but make sure you stop and see them when they're in town. Uh, they'll be here November 2nd at the Newport, but make sure you check out their website, weareamericanauthors.com, for all of their concert and tour stops. Pick up their album, Oh, What a Life. 
where can they find you on Facebook, Twitter, Facebook.com slash American Authors, Twitter handle at A Authors Music, and Instagram is just American Authors. Great. Thank you guys so much. Thank Amen. you. Too.